face. I'm coming for his head and wouldn't leave him necklace. Wouldn't be me, but homie, you can check this. When they go learn, I'm the wrong one to mess with. Trying to read me, but coming off the slacks. What is up? It is your boy Blizz Ricks. Back for another gameplay commentary. As you can see, I am playing Destiny, and I got my full Taken armor going on. Doing the Blighted Challenge. <laughs> blighted Challenge. I am doing the Blighted Chalice strike. And you know what? I I think it's a fun strike, you know? The April update was definitely something I can definitely enjoy. Um, do I wish it had more content? I mean, of course, what other Destiny, what Destiny player doesn't wish they had more content? But you know what? I'm happy with what they have. You know, the Prison of Elders is finally useful again. I personally enjoyed the Prison of Elders. You know, I liked going back and back and back and back and back and doing it over. It was fun for me. It was something to do. And now, it's even more you can do with it. You can get the weapons through the, what is it, the Elder Sigil or something like that. I think that's what it's called. What else you can do? You can, um, oh, you can actually get bounties done while doing the Prison of Elders now. Like, your regular Vanguard bounties. Like, I realized that, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Because, you know, you always got these boards where you just got, you got the enemies from everywhere. So, it's, it's, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, so, yeah, I'm enjoying it. The Taken gear, I like how it looks. I mean, I've always wondered what it would be like to have a Taken Guardian. You know, I think it would be interesting if we had a storyline with an evil guardian. Let me get to that a little bit in a, in a few. But an evil guardian, that would be interesting. You know, or maybe some backstory, some real backstory on the vanguards. You know, because, you know, they're shady characters. We don't really know much about them. They don't really do much. Kane's the worst. He like, he's the laziest one of them all. But these guys have so much authority and like, why don't they ever do anything? You know? You'd think that they're really strong, powerful characters, but I don't know. Something tells me that they're not as strong as we think they are and things like that, you know, but I mean, what, who the speaker to? The speaker is the most shadiest character there. He is like the, he's the, an, an enigma. He's an, he's an enigma. You know, I had a hard time saying that word. <laughs> he's an enigma. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know anything about this guy. All we know is that he found a traveler and he was able to be his speaker i guess you know he speaks for him he's a wise guy a why he's a wise man i guess that's what he is he is the leader of all the guardians if he's not the leader then wow i interpreted the whole thing horribly <laughs> but speaking of all the vanguards and the guardians and everything i have a little something that i want to say you know maybe we didn't see everything into all the perspectives what if us the guardians are the bad guys you know what i'm saying what if we are the bad guys and everybody else are the good ones and i, I guess it's taken on like the i am legend approach because think about it like this it starts us out as you know dead guys you know we're dead and then we're brought back to life by the ghost now we start off by running around the first thing we do is pick up a weapon and we shoot at the bad guys the so the quote-unquote bad guys First thing we do is you shoot at them. And now you're thinking, okay, yeah, but that's survival. And you know, you could be right. That is survival. But how do we know they didn't want to negotiate? How do we not know that they wanted to talk? I mean, for all we really know, those guys should just be, you know, regular explorers. They're trying to rebuild the land. You know, of course, they're militarized. I mean, who isn't militarized nowadays? Now, we take it further. The Guardians. Powerful, powerful beings. These guys have all these kind of abilities. You have, you have warlocks. You have um, hunters. You have titans. The titans, they're really strong. They're the, the juggernauts of the group. You have the warlocks. These guys have the ability to manipulate things around them. And then you have the hunters who are, you know, the stealthy you know go get the kill kind of people but what's weird about it all is we go into these like let's put the raids for example we go into the raids let's use the crota raid we went to the crota raid right the dark below the first thing we did down there is we shoot all the thrall now keep in mind this is their home so the first thing we do we go down there and we kill a whole bunch of thrall and then we finally get to crota in his home 
and we kill him. You know, kill him with his own weapon, his own sword. We just kill him. Why? Why do we kill him? Now, have you ever noticed that none of these guys ever went to the tower? You know what I mean? It says the Traveler's dying. Who is the Traveler? How do we know the Traveler isn't some secret great evil that all the beings in the universe wanted to get rid of? I mean, they said the Vex are evil. You know, the, the stranger said the Vex was evil. How do we really know that for sure? How do we know that we weren't being manipulated the whole time? How do we know, how do we know if whether or not the, the Traveler is the one that wants to take over and is using our light to blind the world, blind the universe and take it over? You know, we're giving it power. The stronger we get, the stronger it's getting. You know, things like that. We're, we're taking out all of its opt obstacles from getting stronger. And we're doing all this stuff. And it's like, wow. I'm not sure if we're really the good, guy, the good guys. I mean, look at what we're doing with our weapons. Let's take the Crota Raid, for example, again. We go into there. We come out with hive weapons. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of fishy, right? We're taking these people, these creatures, and we're making weapons out of them. The husk of the pit. Come on. It's in the name, the husk of the pit. We're making weapons out of these people. They don't have any weapons. They don't have any guardian weapons. But we have a hive weapon. We have hive weapons. We have vex weapons. We have cabal armor, cabal weapons. You know, you know what I'm saying? We have fallen weapons too now. We have so many of this stuff, and we're trying to figure out: Are the guardians really the good guys? You know, it makes you wonder, right? No other creature is making guardian weapons. Have they killed guardians? Of course. Why have they killed guardians? The guardians have all been trespassing. The Vault of Glass. Home of the Vex, apparently. That is their home. We went in there. Well, actually, no. The original people went in there. Died in there. They were corned and everything. I mean, of course. Of course. You had no business being in there. You know, like, that's their home. We're going in there just destroying. We're, we're, we're shooting first and asking questions later. Or asking questions never. That's what it really looks like. But yet again, we come out with the Vex Smith, the glass. The, um, what's the other, the scout rifle? I forget what it's called. The vision of confluence. You know, we're making weapons out of these creatures. And you wonder why we're the most feared in the universe. I mean, like, you can argue that we're not the most feared. You know, Oryx was the most feared. Crota was feared. Are you sure? Because look at this. The Taken King has only come around because we killed Crota. I mean, it's only natural. I mean, what parent wouldn't be upset that someone has killed their child with their own weapons at that? So, of course, he's going to come around and gather up an army by force. I mean, he's he's a father on a rampage. So I don't really blame him. You know what I'm saying? I don't really blame him. Was it fun to do the, the raid and everything? I mean, yeah, of course. It was fun to fight him. But I mean, he's pissed. And he has every right to be. We're destroying his whole legacy and everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, for all we really... I mean, these guys can't really speak to us. T Oryx is the only one that actually had human speech. Everybody else, they just growled and roared. We have no idea what they actually want. And we're not even bothering to find out. If you ever really noticed that. There is no translations going on. The only translation there was was from the Fallen. Now those guys, they came across, some of those came across as bad guys. These guys just ran around and just wanted to destroy. You know what I mean? Hey, I understand that. But I mean, are we innocent? No. I highly doubt that our characters are innocent. I mean, we probably started off innocent, but we were manipulated the whole run to do whatever the vanguards and the traveler and the speaker wanted this to do but i mean you know it's interesting to think like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying i don't know i don't know if anybody else on youtube has actually come across with this i'm pretty sure someone that they, i mean i've seen things they wanted to say that the um the speaker was a secret bad guy and that would have been an amazing story to see how that would have turned out to see him actually be the bad guy and we have to fight him at the end that would be interesting you know, 
I think they should run with that. Because why not? I mean, it seems kind of weird just fighting the creatures and we have no explanation of really why, other than Oryx. But I mean, hey, Oryx has come around to like erase everybody because we're all bragging around. We're bragging about killing Crota. And then what do we do? We kill his daughters in the process, all three of them. We can, and oh, make it even worse. They're having a funeral for Crota. What do we do? We break in the funeral and we steal Crota's soul. <laughs> we steal the soul to do what? Cross over into the area to fight Oryx. I mean, if that's not the most disrespectful thing ever, I don't know what is. You know what I'm saying? What have these people, what have these creatures done to us to deserve all of this? You know what I'm saying? We're really just abusing our power. <laughs> we're trespassing in places we don't belong without permission, obviously. We're, we're traveling everywhere without permission. And we're making weapons out of the limbs and, and blood and sweat and tears of these other creatures. And you wonder why everyone hates us. <laughs> oh man, it's just amazing, right? But then at the end, everybody has a common enemy in Oryx because Oryx is taking everybody. It would be nice to see him take, oh, well, actually not him now because technically he's dead now. But someone else has to come around and turn Guardian against Guardian. That would be very interesting to see. I mean, we have the Crucible, you can have Guardian against Gunner. But I mean, you know, bring the, bring the, um, the trap, not the Traveler, the Stranger back, you know. Who are they talking to? What is their role? We should they should have more of that person in there. You know, cause that it's not really a, that person's not a guardian, but you know, they move like a guardian. They they're not of the light. You know, they don't have any light. They're like dark guardians. You know, that's that would be dope. Dark guardians. I think that would be very interesting to see. Who knows? Maybe it will happen in the future. Maybe it'll happen for Destiny 2. I don't know. <laughs> but don't you think that would be dope to see? I'm just wondering but yeah that is the gameplay commentary that is just what I thought you know seeing the whole game into a different perspective hope you enjoyed that comment below what do you think what do you think about it I want to know your thoughts <laughs> see you guys in the next one I'm Blizz Ricks I'm taken and I'm out peace